Right, so a lot of players are trying to get a top 10% score inside of the competitive PvE playlist for Guardian Games. And of course, this is the fastest way that we can earn and keep the exotic version of the All-Star Vector Skimmer. Now, this objective is actually a lot easier than most players think. So I'm going to break down some really key tips that are going to enable most teams to get this done relatively easily. So the first tip is probably to avoid matchmaking. I know that's a difficult thing to say for solo players, but the problem is when you find random players who aren't really thinking about that objective is that it's really easy to nuke your way through the strike, do too much damage to bosses, kill champions in the wrong way, and miss out on a whole bunch of points. So if you can, get a fire team together, even if it's a fire team consistent of just two players, or even a solo run if you're capable of solo in the strike, as this will help you avoid randoms essentially limiting how many points you can score during a run. But another component to keep in mind before we go any further is that the top 10% objective is based on community score, so the precise amount of points you need to earn will actually change throughout the course of the week as more teams complete it. So it is absolutely going to be easiest, whether you do it this week or next week after reset, to go for that top 10% score as soon as possible after the weekly reset happens. As of course, the scores that players achieve will continue to rise up until the end of the week. Now, the next most important thing for getting this done is that you essentially need to emote and then finish any enemy which is above an orange bar. So it's a kind of stupid way to have to play a strike, but on this orange bar, as you can see right here, when it's finishable, I quickly emote, then use a finisher, and we can see we get more than four and a half thousand points for that kill. The same exact thing applies to champions as well, and there are a whole bunch of champions that will spawn during the strike this week. Again, if you emote and then finish them, you'll be able to get 9,000 plus points for every single kill. Now at the time of making this video, getting that top 10% score pretty much requires 250,000 points. But as you can imagine, you kill five champions and you've got getting on for 50,000 points. So make sure on anything that has an orange bar or yellow bar, if you can carefully go through, pick out the ads, and then take those enemies down with finishers, it is going to make an absolutely massive difference to scoring, and it's the single biggest component to getting a high score run. Other pretty important elements, though, include primary weapon sprees with kinetic ammo weapons. Now, because we can take down a lot of enemies pretty fast, weapons like Trinity Ghoul, any primary weapon that can cause a lot of multi-kills, things like Sunshot, for example, or weapons that can spawn stasis crystals, they're going to accrue a lot of points because we can continuously kill enemies. And as you get medals for those kills, you'll find that more and more points accrue. But again, the other massive tip here is to take your time in these strikes. Be sure to avoid overuse of anything that has crazy AoE, as this can unintentionally kill champions or orange bars without gaining the finisher points. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't use supers. Definitely use plenty of supers, as it's an easy way to take enemies out, and they score a lot of points. But just be sure to use them carefully, especially around orange bars or champions. And otherwise, again, Again, avoid nuking everything. In general, it's pretty easy to chunk the final boss and all of the bosses in the strike pretty quickly, but the issue is that this may mean that you miss out on ad spawns, especially in the final boss room. So take your time, kill general mobs first, then focus on things like champions, then damage the boss slowly, and this will ensure you're getting as many points as possible, but also all of the potential ad spawns. As if you're in the final boss room and you just nuke it, you're potentially going to miss out on around about 100,000 points. So yes, essentially you have to play this strike in a pretty stupid way, but I would imagine most teams of decent players can probably get this done in two or three runs, maybe a little bit of practice. And sometimes, you know, things happen, a champion gets killed unintentionally. Or in other instances, you may have things like an orange bar captain that goes and teleports while you're performing the emote finisher, and for whatever reason, it won't be counted. So there'll certainly be instances where you essentially get screwed out of points. But again, with the right team, and keeping in mind how important the emote finisher thing is, as well as primary sprees, and simply not nuking everything immediately. And yeah, this is pretty easy to get done. So there we go, guys. Get yourself in a team of players who want to get it done, or just buddy up with one other player. Or indeed, if you're a bit of a gangster, you can just solo your way through this. Esoteric managed to get more than 300,000 points. It was like 350k points playing it solo. So it just goes to show it's all about how you're taking things down and creating opportunities to score medals and subsequent points. If the video has been useful, a rating below really helps us out, though. Also be sure to get subscribed for more Destiny content. And otherwise, I hope you guys have an awesome awesome day.
everlasting.